What's up, YouTube? Híjole la chingada. It's been a long ass time since I posted or uploaded on this channel. Two months exactly. Wow, wow, wow. It's been wow. I'm gonna try to upload here more often. I've been really busy on my uh, other channel and uh, I'm going through a little rough patch and road. I don't know if I mentioned on this channel or not. Can't remember. But I'm not going to get into that because there's somebody on this channel that I don't want her knowing anything about me no more. But, have I got a juicy one. I've got a good one today. And that is my opinion on banning vaping. They said they want to ban vaping because six people have allegedly died from vaping. Which I think is a total bullshit, if you ask me, because, uh, no one has, have I know, that ever died from vaping. I think they're doing more things besides vaping. So, why all of a sudden they want to ban vaping because someone died from it? So now Reggie was stupid with it and died from vaping. Six people to be exact. I know people who vape and they save their lives. I have a cousin, who well, I'm not going to say his name, he used to smoke a pack a day. Yeah, a pack of cigarettes a day. And ever since he started vaping, hang on ladies and gentlemen, let me see if I could. Uh, ever since he started vaping, vaping, he says, saved his life. He went from a pack a day to vaping to only smoking once a day now, maybe hardly ever. Last time I seen him, he was smoking a cigarette. Hey, I thought you quit, dude. I have. I smoke a cigarette every now and then. Why? Because of vaping. Vaping saved his life, and I think vaping also stopped him from smoking. So, uh, the fact that people are saying that, oh... People are dying from vaping. I honestly believe they're doing something else besides vaping. So I think it's uh, I don't know how to say it. Something else that they're doing besides vaping that will kill people. Cause I also know a guy. I don't know him personally, but I know a guy. He goes. He used to make YouTube videos a lot. His name was Court. That's why I'm not lying. Court. What's his name? C O R T. Court. And uh, he don't make videos no more. Five pack a day, man. Smoking five packs a day. He said it himself. He just smoked five packs a day. And ever since he started vaping, vaping saved his life. I don't know if he's still around because he has me on YouTube and who knows how long. But uh, he, he basically said that vaping saved my life. But yeah, there are six idiots, I don't call them idiots, that had died from vaping. So, where does the uh, dying part start at? And then they said, all over TV, all over YouTube, some videos say that, uh, there's an epidemic going around. It's a parasite that gets into your lungs and causes irreversible damage. There's an epidemic going around and there's a parasite that attacks the brain. I'll say that is, uh, no. That's bullshit. Bullshit. I've been vaping for five years. Five years I've been vaping. I'm perfectly healthy. My lungs are perfectly normal. My brain is perfectly normal. So, where do they say that causes irreversible damage? Where does irreversible damage come from? I used to have a vaporizer where you hit it and it gave out a massive cloud. A massive cloud. Five years straight. I'll take the same hit and hold it in my lungs so no smoke came out my mouth. Or no vapor came out my mouth. I'm still perfectly fine. 
Nothing's going on in my lungs. Nothing's going on in my brain. So, where do the parasites come in at? Now, I would say marijuana. I would say marijuana. Because kids today are young as 15 or even younger smoking marijuana. I would say that. But, thinking about it, it's not marijuana neither. Because marijuana comes from the ground. It's plant. So, where does parasites come in at? How in the world does liquid create a parasite? Where is it coming from? All the scientists that are around this, that are saying this, where are you getting your information from? Where are you guys, even the doctors, where are you guys... Saying, oh, it vaping causes a parasite. Show me. Give me facts. Because all I'm seeing are commercials. All I'm seeing is ads all over TV and even ads on Channel 5 News that they said vaping causes a parasite. Show me the facts. Show me where you found the studies that vaping is a, causes a parasite. Because I'd like to know. Just like how a while back, the the FDA was so fucking bored that they wanted to ban hookah. They wanted to ban hookah a while back because hookah is almost like vaping. You know, you put tobacco in, you put tin foil, you like the charcoal put on top, and boom, it's almost like vaping. The vapor comes from the the tobacco because. The tin foil gets hot and it causes the bowl to get hot. And the bowl creates like a steam and steams the tobacco. So, where do you figure? No, I lost my track thought. So, that's what happened with hookah. They said back with hookah that uh, one session with hookah. It's like smoking almost a thousand cigarettes. Again, show me the facts. Show me where you got that bullshit of a number. You know what I mean? I'm not willing to tell anybody that, that says that, oh, hookah is bad, bad for you. It's like smoking a thousand cigarettes. I'm going to say, you know what? Prove yourself. Here's a carton of cigarettes. Camel. We'll use Camel because they're a real popular brand of cigarettes. <gasps> Excuse me. We'll use Camel because they're a real popular brand of cigarettes. I want to give some carton of Camel cigarettes and I'll say, smoke these for one hour. One hour straight. No braids, no nothing. Smoke a pack or a carton of, of Camels for one hour straight. I guarantee you'll feel like shit. You will feel like shit and you will be sick like a motherfucker. Now, same person having them smoke kuka for one hour. Guarantee you, you will be okay. You walk away just fine. How do I know? Because I did that. Me and my cousin smoked kuka one time for three hours straight. Three hours straight. And what happened? No. Yeah. We spoke kuka, he ate, we had a couple of beers, and he left. So, again, where does a thousand stickers come in at? Where does the facts come in at that you said hookah is like smoking a thousand cigarettes? You know, they even tried to attack other industries and saying the same thing. Vaping is like smoking 50 cigarettes. Again, how do you get your facts? How in the world do you say this and uh, there's no facts? There's nobody coming out ever and giving their facts. They just assume right away it's coming from the thing they did. As I mentioned a little while ago, they said about vaping. Six people have died from vaping. Okay. Sorry for your loss. I, I, I feel sorry. 
I know how it is to lose someone. I lost people all my life. But where do the facts come in at? How do you know it was vaping and not something else relatable to their health? It could have been ammonia. It could have been the flu. It could have been a cold. It could have been a virus. They had in them already, but didn't want to go check it out. It They just attacked vaping. They just attack it. And they're still attacking the vaping industry. Saying that uh, they're targeting little kids because of their flavors. I showed a video on here a while back about little kids. Young as, uh, I want to say about six. Youngest is about six years old. I show a video on here about that a while back. They're saying this targeting kids like that because it's bright, shining colors and uh, flavors. It says gummy worms, you know, grape, blueberry, strawberry, rice krispie treats, fruit loops, frosted flakes, banana, peach, orange. Lemonade, you know, stuff like that. And yes, our legit flavors out there like that. They just don't name them that for our copyright issues. Or, uh, trademarking issues. So, how do you figure that one as well? How do you figure the tobacco industry is just attacking little kids that young because of the flavors? And people said, again, people came out and said, scientists and doctors, people. Well, when I say people, I'm referring to scientists and doctors. Okay, so remember that. People came out and said that 9 out of 10 kids start vaping because of the flavors. Bullshit. You may, you may be watching this video and thinking to yourself, what made you start vaping? I'll tell you what made me start vaping. Nothing. I just want to try it. I just wanted to try it. They, I heard of uh, the very, very first vaporizer ever invented. It was an e-cigarette. About that big. Looked like a legit cigarette. And that was supposed to get people off of smoking cigarettes and get them on that as a way to quit. You know, and it blew up. People were buying them left and right. Then the tobacco industry created flavors. Because they saw people would smoke sometimes menthol cigarettes or Swisher Swedes, Prime Time. You know, that came out. And so they created flavored. And I was only about 15, 16 at the time when it came out. So, <clears throat> by the time I started vaping, which back in 2012, when I was 18, that was legit smoking age to smoke. was 18. That was the, the legal age. So, I'm over there watching this and like, interesting, I might give that a try. My very first one was a watermelon, watermelon explosion. It doesn't it doesn't exist no more, about which it did. Now, the flavors want me to start vaping? No. I wanted to start vaping because I seen other people doing it. And I wanted to give it a try. So when I was 18, I took a drag of my first e-cigarette. And, uh... It went from there. Now what do I smoke now? I smoke once in a blue moon a cigar or a pipe. Why? Because I wanted to. Nothing causes people to do anything. But yet they're saying that people started vaping because other people said that the flavors got them hooked. How do you figure... You know, that's like me, we'll say 14, because that's how young they start, eating a blueberry or eating a grape and go, I wonder what it will taste like in vapor form. Hating a vaporizer and say, oh, I like this. It doesn't work that way. It's impossible and it's kind of stupid 
to blame me flavors that excuse me that flavors cause a kid to start vaping it's not true not true at all so why is uh FDA and the government attacking the uh tobacco industry I'll tell you why This, people don't know, money. Money. The tobacco industry is making so much money right now from everything you think of. Cigarettes, cigars, pipe tobacco, switch of sweets, prime time, black of miles, dip. If you guys don't know what dip is, it's Copenhagen's, Grizzly, Skull, Kodiak. You know, stuff like that. Two. Red Man. Stuff like that. They're making a ton of money. And the FDA is not having it. I think the FDA is jealous. Because of how much money the tobacco industry is making. That's my opinion. I think they're really. Legitly jealous of the, F- of the tobacco industry. So that's why the FDA and the government. Are cracking down on banning vaping and banning flavored flavored tobacco, which I want to talk about now. Flavored tobacco. Since since the FDA and the government are saying that flavored tobacco attracts little kids, they want to ban that and talk about let's make all vaping products. All vaping products. Regular tobacco flavor. Okay. Think about this. The government. And the FDA. Are stupid ass. Motherfuckers. If they make. All vaporizers. Just plain tobacco flavor. Plain menthol flavor. They're retarded. Why? Because what one product in the whole world, just one, tastes like tobacco, cigarettes. So if you banned and outlaw flavored tobaccos and kids start vaping on menthol or even tobacco flavored vaporizers, what are the kids going to start doing now? Smoking cigarettes. And that's going to be a big ass issue right there. You see, they're, they're, they're just quick to attack. The FDA and the tobacco industry are just... Not the FDA, I'm sorry. The FDA and the government are just quick to attack the tobacco industry. They don't think about the outcome of what's going to happen. Me, I walk, I thought about it. I thought about, okay, if you ban, we'll say water, watermelon explosion. Because that's, that's the flavor I like when I was vaping of age. If they're going to ban watermelon explosion, and they just give a kid one that tastes like menthol or uh, tobacco, they're going to start smoking cigarettes. And yes, there are cigarettes that taste like menthol. I have a drag of one or two of my time. I ain't going to lie. I'll be honest with you guys, I smoked a cigarette or two, and I only smoked, only smoked Camel Crush. It's a bead in the filter, you crush it, wiggle it, wiggle it around a little bit, and you got menthol. You got menthol flavor. So saying that the FDA wants to stop and out all flavors and do just menthol and tobacco, that's the issue you're going to have next. Kids smoking cigarettes. And then that's going to create another big ass argument with the tobacco industry. And then it goes to say, oh, well, let's outlaw cigarettes now. Let's ban all cigarettes. You know, and eventually, it's going to go farther down the line. I give it five years at the most. Two years soonest. Two to five years. We'll say that. So I'll give you two to five years. They're going to shut down the vaping industry. 
because of the menthol and tobacco flavored products. They're going to shut that down because of those products. Because kids are going to switch over to cigarettes. Then they're going to shut the cigarette company down. Then the kids are going to be like, okay, what's their next to smoke? Black and mild. They're going to want to smoke black and mild because of the flavors. Black and mild does have a couple of flavors. Then they're going to shut that industry down. And eventually, like I said, two to five years max, five years max, there'll be nothing left on earth to do. No smoking, no dipping, no chewing, nothing. Because the FDA is trying to shut all of that down. You know, that's how the FDA and the government work. Going to try and shut all that down and uh, get everything banned. Now, some of you may be thinking to yourself, we can still go get it out of state. We can still go get it somewhere else. Yeah, you can. I'll give it that. But if you try bringing it back here... They'll consider that smuggling. And other people were saying that I've heard email the government and the FDA raise the smoking age to 25. Raise it to 30. Uh, what good is that going to do? Raise No matter how high the age limit is, kids are soon going to get their hands on it. Why the parents or the friends? They may have older friends that are like, Hey, man, do you want anything from the store? Yeah, you're trying to bug me. Give me a, an e-cigarette. Great. Give me a e-liquid. I don't know. Strawberry, strawberry smash. No matter how old you will raise the limit to, people are still going to find a way to give it to the kids. You know, but only one country or one, I don't know if it's country or state, banned smoking completely. You have to be 100 years old to purchase a pack of cigarettes. And that is Hawaii. Hawaii is the first, I'm going to country, country I know to ban smoking in general. Why? Because of the vaping issue. Everyone sees it as an issue. I don't see it as an issue. But people somehow are making it issues that, okay, six people have died from that. Let's ban it now. But like I said, vaping basically saves someone's life. It saved a guy I know's life. It saved a guy watching YouTube's life. It saved a bunch of lives. But yet, the industry is the FDA, I'm sorry, still says, no, we're not having it. Let's ban e-cigarettes. Let's ban flavored tobacco. You know, I could go on and on and on about this, but uh, I won't make this an hour long video. So right here's where I'm going to end it at. I thank you guys for watching. Sorry I haven't uploaded here in a while, but I will try to upload more videos on here for more greater contact. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you in my next one. And I'll see you guys maybe, maybe, maybe Monday, where I talk a little bit of sports. If you like seeing me talk about sports, give me a thumbs up and put, hell yeah. But, uh... We will see what happens. I'll see you guys then. But until then, take care and God bless.